Grey's Anatomy. Is he dreamy or steamy? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know if he's dreamy or steamy. I know there's both on that show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bobo has some info. You want to you want to go to that microphone, Bobo? I believe Patrick Dempsey was the one that was uh, McDreamy. He was dreamy. So you're saying Patrick Dempsey's dreamy? Yeah. I don't, oh, and the you other are. guy is the other one. Yeah. Now, uh, how, how how has your dating life been? I see you go to a lot of baseball games. You're a big Mets fan, which is great. Mets are doing good. Uh, do, how's it? You, you, you doing anything to meet girls, Bobo? Uh, I haven't re- really got been lucky enough. Uh, for... That's not really a luck thing, believe me. In my case, in some cases, it's unlucky. Unlucky to meet girls. Yeah, believe me, we all know about that. <laughs> it's a tablet case. A tablet case? What, like a stone tablet? What do you need? No, no, like a What carrier. kind of case no. do you need for a tablet? A well, Tylenol? It's a, no, it's to protect the screen. I want to carry it, and I don't want to mess up the screen. Turn around. Let me see that. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> Is that just made for carrying a tablet? I think you could carry a laptop depending how big the laptop is. Right. And why do you need to carry around a tablet constantly with you? Sometimes I take it with me. That didn't really answer the question. Like, why do you need a tablet with you all the time? Like, well, all of a sudden, have you ever found yourself like, oh, I, thank God, I'm in need of a tablet. Let me reach back like an archer for another bolt. Well, sometimes I might watch something that's uh, downloaded onto the tablet that I want to watch while I'm on a, while I'm waiting for a bus. Ah, maybe. public transportation. It keeps exactly. you busy. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, right. I was watching the latest episode of In Hot Water on the train. Bobo is better than a professional when it comes to a plug. That was natural, organic, like, let me think, I went, uh, In Hot Water. When I'm watching, uh, Don Colleon says in hot water. Don Colleon says funny things. <laughs> Very good, Bubba. Thank you. You support the network. I like that. Yep, exactly. I that, I I even download content if I'm wa- if I'm watching it, and I want want to watch in an area of the house or wherever I am that doesn't get signal. Uh huh. I have it downloaded so I can do just that. You are the shit, Bobo. I like that. Thank you yep. for your support, Bobo. You're welcome. Uh, now we put the mic back and uh, take a seat. I said, is that you? You stacked up three? Oh, I thought he stacked up three cushions and was sitting on it. I thought, no, I okay. I would. It was found like that. I would. Why not? Those but cushions. It kind of makes a makeshift armrest. Oh, makeshift armrest. And nobody, no one on the couch. We usually save the couch for girls. Whenever a guy comes and brings a girl or a girl comes by herself, we let them sit on the couch. It's called the first class uh, upgrade. Uh, but none of you guys decided you were going to sit on the uh, couch. You like the bleachers. The bleacher creatures, they used to call them at Yankee Stadium. Matt, what's up? Hey, I just want to say, could we put the camera back on Bobo? Could those buttons be under any more stress? <laughs> Bobo, have you put on a little weight? He says your buttons are under a little stress. I can hear them screaming here in Virginia. They are a little, yeah, that, that is some high tension. Uh, it's a little bit. Later. Losing a job. Oh, losing the job. Well, you know what? Yeah, I think those buttons, they're going to start popping like the rivets on those submarines that go too deep. You ever see that in a movie? <laughs> Usually winds up hitting someone in the head. It's a terrible scene. We can't go down to 350 meters. And then the, the you ever see those movies? Ping, plow, plow. So your buttons are going to, yeah, we get the point, Anthony. Now, what happened to your job, Bubba? Grab that microphone. I I know, it's, you know what, whenever Bubba comes in, he just makes me want to talk to him a little more. Matt, thank you for uh, actually, uh, oh, he's gone. Well, good. He knows how to work this. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened. Yes, Bubba. I would, I was working at a recycling center. Recycling center. And that usually involved bottles and cans, usually from the usually a variety of different customers. Typically, there were specific different groups of people I would classify them as. There'd be these... groups of people you would classify. Bobo's classifying groups of people. Uh, so how did you get fired, Bobo? Get to the point. Well, what happened was during the point I was separating 
the two liters, you know, from brands because they need to have them separated by brands because the brands pick the companies pick their pick up the recycling. I didn't know that. Yeah, I guess they have their own recycling plants. I guess like Coke has their own recycling plant. Oh, they don't want horrible like RC cola plastic going or, in with their or, good Coca Cola plastic. Yeah, I, I never I never understood that with these with these companies oh, why yours they're, is not they're picky about why. their. But anyway, as I'm separating them, one of the guys just pulls open the bags that need to be of the stuff that needs to be separated into separate bags and by by, by their companies. No. And he just left them all mess all over the place. Oh. So I couldn't I didn't know how to tell him not to do that, that he was causing a mess. Even though I tried to tell him that. You should have acted it out. Like uh pantomime it. Half the time you gotta show these guys just to you gotta show them what it is you're specifically trying to trying to say. Right, right. And then what happened? Well anyway, because of that mess. The guy fired me. Well, but but you didn't make the mess. I didn't make the mess, but he didn't buy it. Well, I just told him it was a new guy because the guy was relative because that guy was relatively new. Oh, but he didn't he didn't believe it, and the guy wasn't in, in nearby that he could get to the guy easily. I think they just wanted to fire you, Bobo. Believe me, I understand that one. And, Sirius XM, and, let me tell you. And that guy is very cheap because oh! he still owes me leftover pay. Well, you go back there and get it. I've tried Break to do that, legs. and he's been denying it. And he know, and he should. He doesn't realize it. And he has a habit of being late on be- pay when I've worked there. Oh. He's been late on pay quite a bit. Do you think he's taking advantage? He was taking advantage of you and his other workers. Is that what he does? And he just thought I, he could take advantage more of this new guy. I I've heard from sources about this guy how uh, how uh, he he's a uh, cheats peep some workers. Bobo should do a help me Howard situation. Oh man, that where he's great. the Howard. Yeah, help me Howard. Oh okay, <laughs> uh, let me go talk to him, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> not that Howard. But I can tell you, do not. Hold on, I got. I think I still have the the, the name the name of the place. No, but let's not I'm put any tell names people, out there. I just want to tell people not Let, to shop yeah, at this. Yeah, place. let's not put any names out there here on my show, Bubba. When you get a show, you put all the names of the scumbags out there you want. I got enough people to worry about right now, but I under I appreciate it and I understand. Yeah, you can sit back down. <laughs> I love it, Bobo.